My next two guests can help us understand it a little bit better because one is trying to stop it and the other one is on board. Joining me now, Senior Fellow for Media Matters for America, Eric Bollert. Also with me, Joseph Farah. He's the author of the Tea Party Manifesto. He's also the editor of the WorldNetDaily.com. Joseph, obviously we'll start with you. Uh, was this enough or you're still not convinced? Well, it depends what you ta you're talking about when you say convinced. Let me suggest that the question for me, for many millions of Americans, has never been uh, exclusively about where he was born. The question is, no, is he a so. natural born citizen uh, under the Constitution? Is he eligible to be president? And I don't think that we got the answer today no, when Barack not. Obama no. finally released his birth certificate after two and a half years of uh, calls from Americans to do that. But what he's provided to us, hopefully, is the basis uh, at which we can begin to discuss this rationally. Oh, and okay. For, oh, thank God. Finally, we can discuss it rationally. Hey, hey, so Eric, the long-form birth Eric, certificate is not good can enough. Can I ask you a question, the, Eric? Uh, certification of birth is not good enough. The papers in the it's still not good enough. We're now beginning to we're beginning the discussion. Eric, now. all right. Well, what, go ahead. What would be your minimal standard to establish constitutional eligibility? Do you have a standard? Do I have a standard? Yeah. I think the yeah. president answered it today. Uh, if you want to see moving the goalposts, let's continue this conversation and listen we're, we're to Joseph. We're not moving the goalposts. Hey, you guys Joseph, arbitrarily, hold on, hold on, hold arbitrarily on. set a goalpost. It's a goalpost called the United <laughs> States Constitution. <laughs> look, look, That's birth, right. Birth, birth, and how did, we, how did we meet that standard? All right, you've got to be quiet. Go ahead. You know, today, birthers have egg on their face and say, clean up the mess, they're cracking more eggs. I mean, why can't Joseph Farr and the rest of the birthers admit they were wrong about everything. Why don't you apologize? Do the decent thing. Because Do the honest I mean, thing just once. You, uh, Joseph, you ask me a I got question. A quote for you. you ask me a question, let me answer the question. Because I'm a journalist and we <laughs> pursue the facts and we hold public and officials you, and you accountable. Stuff. We don't do propaganda for them night and day on television like you people at MSNBC do and sure. you Soros backed Media Matters sure. people do. Joseph, That's the got, difference. Hold on, I got a fun quote for you. It's yours. Uh, you said uh, World Net Daily will send a check in the amount of $15,000 to whatever birth hospital is listed on his long form birth certificate. All Obama has to do to see that donation ha made is to release it publicly. Now, th there shouldn't be any dispute about this. Well, you got the long form birth certificate. I think even you agreed to that. You see the hospital. Uh, where's the check? As soon as we establish that it's a legitimate long form birth certificate, so you're gonna do it. I know, I know for you guys, all the government has to do is release no, any so document. So you long? Is it a day or is it a week? Value. How long are you going to study it? It's on the website. What? You had a long time. You had two, the whole day. You didn't study like it. Two years ago, we made that pledge. Two years so ago. Are where you were you guys? You where were you guys calling for the release of these public documents? No, 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 That's no. That's what journalists do. Fifteen you ought thousand to be ashamed dollars. Of yourself. Where is it? Where is it? There's a long form birth certificate. It's for the whole world to see. You said if you saw the hospital, you were going to donate to it. I just told well, put you. Put your money where your mouth is. I just Where's told your 15000 As soon as we establish that it's a legit, <laughs> So how long is that going to take? How long is it going to take? One day, one week? How long is it going to take? A, a lot less time than it took Barack Obama In to release the birth certificate. In other words, you don't have an answer because you're not going to do no, it because no, you were lying before and now he's that. produced it and you're People embarrassed. Are sitting, there's a, a decorated army vet, uh, veteran sitting in jail because Barack Obama refused to release that birth certificate. <laughs> All right, nonsense. Eric, uh, nonsense. now it's not just Joseph Farah right. uh, that's on the crazy train. So no, is no, Fox no. News. Absolutely. Uh, now, look, there's the Sarah panels, et cetera, but I, we've got a little clip of Fox News uh, uh, yes. guys on this so it's yes. a fun let's watch that and have you comment on it. about this birth certificate issue i mean what? it has not been my main issue but it, it's it kind of does get a little odd here after a while he could end it simply just show it to us and it'd be over he could just go get the birth certificate and it'll all be over and i'm just curious why he wouldn't do that i would say that maybe there's something on there that he doesn't want people to know like if there's um something there that uh the president uh, doesn't want people to see on that birth certificate that uh you know he sees what? going to great lengths to make sure that it isn't shown and, and that's kind of um, perplexing for a lot of people yeah. 
All right, so look, this isn't just a, jo Joseph, he's on here. I'm going to ask him another question, but right. he's he's a fringe player, right? Right, right, right. Uh, Fox no, News claims to be fair, balanced news, major news network, etc. This is a story about Fox News. 2008, the entire campaign, Fox News mentioned the birther story twice. They had no interest in it. It wasn't legitimate. Media Matters points out today, before the release of the birth certificate, just in the last two months, uh, Fox News produced over 50 segments opinion show segments about the birth certificate the vast majority of those no one ever acknowledged the story was a fraud so for some reason between 2008 and now no facts were changed but fox news decided to go all in they made this partnership this alliance with with donald trump and they were gonna now they're writing this this birther story into oblivion but they thought they had a home run and sean hannity should apologize tonight on television i'm looking forward to that yeah joseph look we brought you on i, I want to give you one last chance here so you're saying you need to study this thing ad infinite them because you don't want to pay the 15000 I got that part. But what's your new complaint? There's, of course, there's always something there's new. There's no new does complaint. Have a wrong the complaints are the same. What is it? The complaints are the same as they always have of been. Course. Barack Obama <laughs> is he a natural-born citizen under the under the standard of the Constitution. So whole, and people born in Hawaii, minute, they don't count wait anymore? Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, was that my chance? All right. Go to ahead. To talk uh, uninterrupted on this show? Go ahead. Last word. Okay. Number one. If indeed this document we saw today is authentic <laughs> and Barack Obama Sr. is his dad, his dad Oh, he's got a new dad? Okay, I'm uh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. His dad conferred <laughs> Kenyan or UK citizenship on his son. How is he a natural born citizen if his dad if conferred oh, Kenyan right. citizenship? Let's uh, let's right. understand what the this, natural this, born this citizen the phrase of, okay, meant see, right. to the founding right. fathers. I got you. I got you. I got you. No, I understand you got it. And, I, and we're, you no, got no, and we're out of time. You don't the thing want is to hear anything. anything. You no, want no, to hear Joseph, I gave you the last word. I got you. You think that the Constitution is wrong that if you're born in the United States of America, it, it doesn't it count if you have a Kenyan like father. That I, got in the I got it. I got it. Hawaii doesn't count. The Kenyan father you doesn't count. Be ashamed you're born in Hawaii. That doesn't count. For doing I got this it. kind of propaganda right. on Eric television. Eric Pollitz, thank you for joining us. Joseph okay. Farah, still riding on that crazy train. Choo-choo, all aboard, still going that way. Thank you for joining us.